What's up YouTube? It's me Rashad, 360 Wave Process Rashad. Most of you guys know, I didn't start off here at the university. I started off in community college and then I transferred to this university that I'm at right now. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the differences between community college and university that I've noticed over my time of being here. I'm also gonna give you guys my opinion on the differences between the sports because I ran track in community college and I also ran track here at this university. I was supposed to make this video like a year ago, but I'm finally getting to it. So make sure you guys hit the like button. Let's get like 2,000 likes on this video. And then I'm gonna make the other video that I was supposed to make about how to graduate college debt free. I'm 360 Way Process Rashad. Let's get into the video. Since I'm here right now, let me just tell you guys one of the first differences that you can notice off tops is that there's more space at the university. At community college, it's low key compact and it's just more together in a sense. Everything's closer together. As far as is that a better thing or a worse thing, it all depends on your preference. Honestly, I like open space, so I think that's better. One other thing I wanna tell you guys about is basically in community college versus university, I feel like universities, I don't wanna say that they try harder, but they have more space and I guess funding to like have certain things like this. For example, this is a botanic garden and it's just like on campus you can just come here and chill out and there's just like well I mean you could be around nature and community college there's less space and um, I feel like they don't really have things like this because students don't really hang around as much on community college campuses as they do at university another thing I could just point out off the top of my head from this just being right here is that there's usually more people who attend university so things are bigger the buildings are bigger um, and for example, like you see this library, it's a huge library with like four or five floors, you see? And in community college, you'll see less people attend the school, so the buildings don't have to be as big. Is that a better thing? No, that's up to your personal opinion on what you like, you know what I mean? Because bigger isn't always better, and that's just up for you to decide. Another difference that I wanna let you guys know, community college versus university is basically the campus. University, they tend to have a campus that is nicer than your regular community college. I think that's partly due because I feel like it's a business and then um, universities, they have to compete on a national scale, all right? They have to compete with colleges from um, this state and that state and students, which are the customers, low key, they'll choose a better campus because if they're gonna be paying so much money for their education, they wanna do it in a nice environment. So they have like, you know what I mean? Things just look nice around. And they have other things like the gym is pretty nice and they have other things that just kind of cater to the students. For example, if I show you guys, the, um, they have a thing called Oasis here and then they have like the nice gym and all that. In community colleges, it's not really like that. All right, so next let's talk about the difference and difficulty as far as the class. When I look back, I feel like it was difficult at community college. But do I feel like the university is more difficult? I honestly don't feel like it's more difficult. Um, because that's a lot of misconceptions that community college is easy and then university is hard. I found difficult classes here at this community college when I took classes here and then at the university, I found difficult classes there and I found easy classes there. You see what I mean? So I guess it all depends on just the class. And I could let y'all know, people also talk about they think or the professors are better. For the most part, uh, they, the professors are the same because I have professors when I was here that taught at UCLA. You know what I mean? So it all depends. Another thing that I was telling you guys over there when I was sitting in the garden is that universities compared to um, community colleges, universities try to offer the students more things so that they can, in a sense, entertain themselves. For example, I was telling you guys about the Oasis, which is basically a place on campus where you could just go and they have like massage chairs, a quiet area where you can go study. There's just like in the cut over there, which is like right over there. I'm gonna take you guys over there and show you what it looks like. And then also um, they have like sleeping pods. So you could go get like, let me just show y'all, come on. This place that I'm at right now is called the Oasis. It's a quiet place where you can come study or you could just chill out. They have massage chairs and then they have like this, these um, sleeping pods, which is really cool. I'm gonna show you guys. This is the outside of the Oasis. It's pretty cool. You can come study over here. It's just a quiet place to come if you want to get away from the, um, the campus. Another thing I could tell you guys about is basically the atmosphere 
in community college, I feel like there are more students who are not really 100% sure if they want to really pursue college, they're distracted in a sense. And then when you come here to university level, uh, more of the students are kind of focused. And that's a better thing in the university because um, you're more likely to get into the crowd that is focused, you know what I mean? Instead, when you're in community college, if you're not focused yourself, then you could get distracted and you end up with that, with that wrong crowd. And now, you know what I mean? You're going on some other path. One thing I can say about community college as well is like the environment is just chill because for the most part, it's around the area where you grew up at. Like it's not too far away from your house because it's in your community, you know what I mean? With that being the case, you're probably gonna have people that went to high school with you going to your community college, you see? It's gonna feel very, just like home. The university on the other hand, for the most part, for most people, the university be like, it be way across the state if they going in state, you know what I mean? It be an hour, two hours, three hours plus away from their house. And it's more people at that. At community college, there's less people. If you go to a university, you can easily get lost in the crowd of the 30,000 plus people that go to the school. You see what I mean? Another thing I can tell you guys about the difference is like at the university level, they have other amenities too, like let's just say like the gym that's pretty nice. Then they have, let me show you guys for example. You can come over here in the gym, come play basketball for fun. Great, all right. You know, it's chill. You see friends all the time. You got oh, the boy so, Chime in the building. Uh, so, you know. And hey, shout out to 360 Work Process. You getting a workout in right now? Hell yeah, you know, we're trying to, we're getting ready for summer, man. All right, bro. I'm gonna let you finish shooting hoops. All right, push I'm finished this video, y'all. All right, bro. One thing, you run into a lot of people that you know because people live on campus, so you run into your friends a lot. It's just chill. I had to change up, you know what I mean? Gotta promote my own brand, too. Um, another big difference between community college and university is there's an option for on-campus living at the university. If you live on campus, you feel a little bit more connected to the school as compared to when you're in a community college, you live at home, you don't really feel as connected to the school in the same sense. I'm living on campus at my university at the moment. I'm about to graduate like in a month, so if you guys want me to do a dorm tour before I graduate and move out, let me know. Let's get this video to like 1,500 likes. I hope those tips I just gave you guys helped you understand some of the main differences. I want you guys to understand because this channel that I have here, it's about business and it's about living life in a successful way. Now, sure, you get all of that exciting, nice stuff at the um, university level, but what you have to ask yourself, which one will be more beneficial and which one will give you more value? Now, to understand which one will give you more value or which one will be worth it, you have to do a cost-benefit analysis. If you qualify for a university straight out of high school, I'll leave it up to you because if you get financial aid, it'll cover most of the cost. But then, there's an additional cost that comes with living on campus. Financial aid will pay for all of the tuition, all right? I didn't know that when I got out of high school. I thought I couldn't afford it. I was like, man, financial aid not gonna cover everything. I'm not, where am I gonna get this extra money from? You know what I mean? Barely have a job just getting out of high school. So I was really scared of university. But in reality, I still didn't even qualify for the university straight out of high school. So I went to community college. Honestly, let me tell you guys, I wanted to save some of this information for the um, how to graduate college debt free video, but like, if you're just getting out of high school right now, all right, if you're about to graduate from high school this year and you're wondering, should I go to community college or should I go to a university? I think you guys should factor in the cost of how you're gonna pay for the university if you go. If you feel like you're not gonna be able to pay for it, you know what I mean, the university as far as, all right, so I'm gonna get there and okay, financial aid cover most of it, but how am I gonna cover this other half? Then I feel like you should um, really consider community college. That way you can stay living with your parents. And then while you're living with your parents, you could um, get a job, save your money, save up to get a car, all right? Um, that's if you're gonna go into college that's in state, at least you wanna get a car. And then after your two years or three years of community college, you're gonna have your car and then you take your car and use that car to travel to the university that you wanna attend that's in state, right? And then, if you, if you can afford to live on campus at that point, then you can move on campus, you know what I mean? 
But if you can't afford to move on campus, then I feel like it's just a luxury. You don't have to live on campus. Um, but that's just my opinion. I'll talk way more about that in my video about how to graduate college debt free. Um, get this video to 1500 likes, like I said, and we're gonna get that out as soon as possible. Um, yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. If you have questions that I didn't answer in this video, leave it down in the comment section, and I'm gonna try and answer it for you when I get the chance. Appreciate all you guys. Hit the like button, subscribe. If you don't know, once you subscribe, you become a royal family member, the raw royal family. That's what my subscribers are called. So I just wanna welcome all my new subscribers, and I'm gonna just be out here trying to help y'all. Peace. One thing I can say about community college, as far as the staff, I feel like the staff are way more relatable and they really want to see you do good. I feel like they take that extra step to just do stuff for you and just communicate to you that you could do what you here for. And basically that's to transfer or just get your associate's degree or whatever you're trying to get.